Hello, welcome to another Vid Tuck brought to you by Riseide Studios. Today I'm going to talk to you about how to turn an image into a vectored image. So, we've got Illustrator and Photoshop open right now. And here's Photoshop. So the first thing you want to do, you want to take your photo and you want to cut out all the background so you don't see that. So, we already went ahead and did that. So, where is the file? And... I'm sure we'll find it easy enough. Here it is. Okay. So we cut it out. You see I kind of left a little bit in there. So we can kind of use some of your methods. Um, you can just use the brush tool or, or you know, the, the eraser tool to cut out as much as you like. Um, so we're just going to use this image. And, you know, lastly, um, what we're going to want to do is get rid of as much background as you can. You know, don't make it incredibly too detailed. Get rid of the edges. And the last thing uh, we can do in Photoshop is um, I'm going to go up here to the adjustments and we're going to kind of just create a really contrasting image. So here's a really contrasting image. You see this is this part's going to turn black, so we don't really want that. So we've got to find a way to kind of keep that in. Um, you know, we can make it a little brighter, but remember it's going to be actual, uh, you know, as contrasty as, as possible because that's what it's going to look like later. Now you can use the brightness contrast here, um, but I find the really, really best way to do this is with curves. Curves is without question the most uh, trolling way. So let's just make it into a nice S curve because the S curve is what a um, contrasty image is. So we know in here that's down there. So you see how I do that. So I'm going to pull this out a little bit more. Um, See, I gotta find how that how that just about works. And you can see I can even tweak that a little bit. Now this doesn't, look, of course, this doesn't have to look real. We're just trying to find some some shit, some some detail in there, and that's not quite working. But you know, once we get it um, as close as we can, we're just gonna put it right about there. Okay. We can even go ahead in here and just grab the um, the dodge tool here, which actually lightens uh, specific spots. And I'm just going to dodge that out a little bit and get as much as we can. Let me see if I'm getting just a little bit. Yeah. Let's get those fingers. See, they don't have to look real. It just has to come out in detail. Alrighty. So there you go. Yeah, that's the image we're going to be working with right now. Alright, so next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to save it. I'm going to do File, Save As. Or excuse me, Save for Web and Devices. Just to make the file a little bit smaller. And I'm going to take this into a PNG because it's got the transparency. It doesn't matter the size really. We're just going to make the save. I'm just going to put it, save it as mug and put it on the desktop. All right. Uh, there it is. It's done. And next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the desktop. Um, of course, I'm just going to go ahead and open up my browser here in the finder and find the mug. Um, hit the space bar on the line. So see, that's the right one. And next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it right into Illustrator. There it is, dragged in there. It's going to pop open <clears throat> just like we had it before. Okay, let's zoom out a little bit. Obviously, it's a little on the big side. Let's make it a little smaller. And there we go. All right, let's zoom in. Let's keep it in the artboard. All right, next thing I'm going to do is um, since it's an image, it automatically gives you this live trace option. So I'm just going to click it, and you can see immediately it's going to jump, and there's a vector. Um, however, you see it's missing a lot of detail. So we go to threshold and we can raise that up a little bit until we find that detail. I'm going to click off of it to see it. We're getting better. See, it's got the edges, missing some details there. Now, you're not going to be able to fix these details in Illustrator. You're going to need to fix those back in Photoshop and import the image over again. And that's unfortunately the back and forth part of it. But you can see this is just a black and white. Now, we could even go with color. Six color. This was just six different colors. Um, of course, this is, takes up a lot of uh, memory because it's doing a lot of vector work. See, there's another. It's a, this is a vectored image. Now, once you're done with it, say I'm happy with this. Um, I just hit the expand button. And this is the real quick overview with it. So, you know, of course, there's a lot more detail. You can go into the dialog box up here, um, which is now gone, and you can see some real details. And you can see this is actually a vectored image. Um, took all the details and all the pixels and you can even, uh, you can even grab a bit yeah, look at that and that's it so there's how you turn a photograph into a vector image thanks again for watching